Hey guys, it's Taylor here from Team High Society. And sorry it's a little bit noisy. We've got the uh, server power supply here going, powering all these uh, five different chargers here. And what I wanted to talk about today was, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but it's the uh, 18650 headset battery case from Fat Shark. And it's uh, 13 to 15 bucks depending on where you get it from. And uh, when you open it up, it looks like this. So it looks very similar to uh, the original batteries. However, with this little latch here, it just pops right open and you can slide your own 18650 cells right in. Actually, let me get a second one here. Actually put them in the way they're supposed to be. Let's see. So you just put your cells right in, snap the door closed. We've got a charge indicator. And it's a little bit bigger dimensionally than the other battery, but it does fit in all the straps for the new, uh, the new Fat Shark goggles. And I've tested back down to Dominator V1. So it fits in pretty much everything. It is tight, but um, you know, still got this little notch here so it doesn't fall out. The one downside to this is this balance lead if you take a look at it it only it only has two leads on it so it's not really a balance plug it's just to power the fan on the goggle so you can't really just hook this up and charge it through the balance port so what do you do do you get a fancy charger do you buy one of those little you know chinese uh plug into your wall fire hazards something like that now nah, i got an easy solution for you check this out so we just pop the batteries out and we take one of your standard like Turnigy chargers, the four button chargers, we all have them. This one's a, you know, an AccuCell 6, but this one's like an old Venom OPR2. Any of them that are the four buttons. Unfortunately, the ISDT chargers um, won't let you charge a single cell uh, without using the balance lead. But so any of these four button cells, basically, you just take the main power output and finagle it however you want. And I just happen to get crocodile leads or alligator leads and hook them up to these neodymium magnets. And simply just stick the magnets right onto your battery. So what that allows you to do is we want to do just a lipo charge set the current and this is going to be 1s so there's only one battery obviously and since it wasn't a balanced charge it goes ahead and charges it through the main port here and ignores the balance port so as you can see this one was on the cell was almost charged completely but just alligator clips neodymium magnets and just snap them right onto the edge of the battery that's all there is to it quick little tip that way, um, I don't know if you've ever seen those plug-in chargers that come with 18650s on eBay and stuff like that. They are terrible quality. And uh, I personally don't trust that there's any actual circuitry in there. Most of the time, it's just a constant current charger. And uh, it's a fire hazard. Not to say that all of them aren't, but or all of them are. But most of us have at least one of these uh, little four-button chargers laying around somewhere. So, you know, once it's done charging, simply just take the uh, magnets off. Get your next battery, stick it on there. And this one wasn't as charged, and so there we go. And as you can see, it's putting two amp through those magnets, so it's not, it's not really a problem. Um, you know, this is a 2000 milliamp hour battery, so two amps is about where you want, but the magnets aren't a problem. So that's just a quick little tip, and we'll be back for more later. Thanks for watching.